name is Kate McMahon and thank you for joining us today for Gallery. Gallery is one of my favorite shows to host here at the Media Center because we get to share with our audience artists, local artists on Cape Cod. And today I would like to introduce to you Kennard Smith. How are you? Thank you. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Very excited. Very excited to have you here. Um, your art has been hanging in the Media Center for a couple weeks now, and uh, we've got some great comments. And uh, what's really interesting to me is that I asked Kennard to choose two of his works to um, show us today. And one of these is my favorite, and one of them is my coworker Emily's favorite. So I'm really looking forward to hearing the star stories about these. Yes, ma'am. But before we get um, started talking about these two, let's talk a little bit about your background. Okay. And can you share with us how um, you became passionate about art? Yes, ma'am. So I started in high school, in my sophomore year of high school. They had an art competition in high school, so they said, if you have art or whatever your art is, it'd be sculptures, mechanics, painting, bring it and they'll judge it. So I entered a few pieces and unfortunately it didn't win, but that didn't stop me from continuing my passion with art, fell in love with it and just kept going from there. I love it. I love it. Now, you uh, mentioned to me that you went to high school in Georgia? Yes, correct. Jones County High School. Oh, awesome. Awesome. Yes. Now, were there any influences um, while you were living in Georgia that helped you or sent you in a certain direction with your art? So in Georgia, there's a lot of art in industry, as the Tubman Museum is one of them. So I go in there a lot many times, seeing different arts, the African art, so that introduced me a lot to different styles of art, so that had a lot of impact on my art. Wonderful, that's great. Now, what about um, professional training? Have you taken any classes around helping you develop where you are today? No classes, all self-taught. Oh, wow, yeah. that's awesome. Yes, Congratulations. Thank you. And being self-taught, was it just a blank canvas and a vision, or how'd that work? A lot of learning, just looking at different pieces, different artists, just seeing I could put my own spin on things, just kept going from there. Yeah, cool, that's cool. Now what are your favorite types of art and how does it impact what you do today? So I've looked at a lot of abstract or realism, so I thought those two just try to combine them, call it abstract realism, which is the one this piece is. So that's, yeah. What does that, what does abstract realism mean for a real novice in the arts? Okay, so abstract is, different lines or colors or textures matched into one and realism is like bringing something to life that you can realize or recognize from just looking at it. Oh. So I put those two together and just put on spin on things. Very cool, yes. very cool. So do you want to share with us a little bit um, about these two pieces that you have here? No problem. So this one I uh, created in 2020 of February which is Black History Month. So I saw like the African they had doing wars or doing tribe meetings. They had the women would have paint on their face. So I did that in the design of the side profile of a black woman with the, the African design on the state face in paint. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I love the colors. Really pops. Yes, I love using bright colors. Yeah, yeah. I noticed that yes. in uh, the gallery pieces that you have here yes, with us right now. Yeah, I love that. And this actually is one of your darker pieces that yes. you brought um, to hang here at mm -hmm. the Media Center. So this is showing a couple, the men behind her embracing a woman, showing affectionate love, so that's why I paint, paint that one. That's wonderful. That I really like that one. Now you've got a couple different background colors there, yes. that royal blue and that, that black. Is there any real significance to that So the, blue, the blue means comfort, so as they're, he's holding her like it's showing comfort. Oh, wonderful, yes. wonderful. I love that, I didn't know that. That's great. Yes, ma'am. Is there anything else you'd like to add today? Also, let's add that um, I'll be competing in Boston February 7th. I got accepted to compete in the Boston Art Competition with 12 other, 12, sorry, 12 other different artists from around the world, so I'll be doing that. Around the world? Yes. 
Whoa, that is so awesome. Yes, ma'am. So February 7th, and where will it be held? It'll be in, in Boston. I'm not sure the specific place yet, but I'll post it on my Instagram and stuff like that. Oh, that would be info. awesome. Yes. That would be great. We can, um, we can uh, include your Instagram at the end here. So yes, ma'am. So people want to uh, know when your show is, because that sounds like a lot of fun. With only a 12. total of 12? And then they choose it. They have two... Um, it's a speed round, like live painting. So it's six and then six, then the top two go to go off in the last 20 minutes. Wow. So you have 20 minutes to paint a picture. <laughs> yeah. So help me understand that in, in uh, comparison mm -hmm. to these. How long did these so take? These took, this one took about five hours and this one took about um, four, four, three or four hours. But in the competition, you have 20 minutes, blank canvas, your medium of paint, and you have to create whatever you can in the 20 minutes. And the, actually, the viewers judge the paintings, so they choose who the winner is. Very cool. Yeah. Now, is it um, topic? Do they give you a topic? It's whatever you paint in 20 minutes, and they judge from it. Wow. Yeah. Do you have to say that you're into, like you mentioned to me earlier, abstract realism? Or? Yeah, they, they actually like, what's your um, medium, what's your style of painting? And then they just say, go ahead and 20 minutes start. <laughs> so are you going to do prep in advance or are you just going to walk in? Or? Well, I've been doing some practicing here and there. So to get myself ready to be like timed. My yeah. first time being timed to paint. So I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, that's very cool. Well, congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Taking your art to yet another level. Yes. Awesome. Congratulations. I'm thank glad you. you mentioned that. Thank you, yes. That's wonderful. And thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. Really appreciate it. And um, I want to add for our viewers, uh, Kennard has probably 15 pieces hanging in our gallery right now. And we would invite you to the Media Center to come and view his amazing pieces. My name is Kate McMahon, and thank you for joining us for Gallery today.